Nokia 5.3 is a Nokia branded mid-range smartphone by HMD Global, a Finnish mobile phone manufacturer. In this video, I am going to unbox and review this phone. On the front of the box, there is the front and back picture of Nokia 5.3 smartphone. The phone runs on Android and it says there are 2 years of Android upgrades included. Note that there is an asterisk here. There is a fine print for the asterisks. They are so tiny that you may need a magnifying glass to read them. The fine print says from the global launch date of Nokia 5.3. The global launch of this phone was March 2020. So that would mean the 2 years free Android upgrade should end in March 2022. The back of the box mentions the main features of this smartphone. This Nokia 5.3 comes with Android 10. At the bottom of the box are two IMA numbers indicating that this is a dual SIM phone. This is a Nokia 5.3 charcoal color phone. Now, let's open the box. These are all the items from the box. A Nokia 5.3 smartphone, a transparent phone case, a USB wall charger, USB to USB-C cable, earphone with microphone, SIM ejector pin, and getting started guide. Two items came as a surprise as I was not expecting them here. The transparent phone case and the earphone set. The plastic cover on the phone points the Google Assistant function to the side button. Nokia 5.3 is a 4G smartphone running on Android 10. As part of the Android 1 family, Nokia 5.3 offers an intuitive, customizable, and easy-to-navigate Android experience. There's no bloatware that wastes battery life and no clutter that hogs processing power. This smartphone features a 2.5D glass front and scratch-resistant composite back. The slim design with curved edges provides a comfortable feel in the hand. The screen display is a 6.55 inches HD Plus screen. Screen type is an IPS LCD. And the screen resolution in pixels is 720x1600. The processor in this phone is Qualcomm Snapdragon 665. The RAM capacity is 4GB and the internal storage is 64GB. These combinations provide good performance and smooth user experience. The battery capacity is 4000mAh and Nokia claims up to 2-day battery life based on their internal testing. The phone has AI-assisted adaptive battery technology, which is smart enough to prioritize power for the apps you use the most. At the back, these are the cameras and the fingerprint sensor. At the top of the smartphone are the 3.5mm headset connector and microphone. At the bottom of the smartphone, there is the loudspeaker, USB-C connector slot and microphone. On the left side of the smartphone, there is a dual slot for SIM and a memory card. This slot can accept two nano size SIM cards and a micro SD card at the same time. And this is the dedicated Google Assistant button. On the right side of the smartphone, there are the volume keys and a power or lock key. You can shoot a whole range of new angles with the rear AI-powered quad cameras that include flash. The camera features a dedicated depth sensor to capture more detail in every shot. Plus, you can get up close and personal with the macro lens or capture the entire landscape with the ultra-wide sensor. The cameras are 13 megapixel wide, 5 megapixel ultra-wide, 2 megapixel macro, and 2 megapixel depth cameras. In the front is a single 8 megapixel camera for taking selfies. You can make your photos stand out day or night with AI imaging. Turn off the flash and switch to night mode for better shots in the dark. You can get creative and capture images with portrait mode and enhanced bokeh effects or simply give your selfies a boost with beautify mode. Here are some of the Nokia 5.3 camera test photos using different functions under various conditions. This is a full HD video taken using Nokia 5.3.
In summary, Nokia 5.3 is an affordable phone that has good performance. However, it can choke on multitasking and opening too many browser tabs. The bloat-free Android operating system makes the phone feel fresh and fast. The phone has a nice display but not as bright as OLED displays. The cameras produce decent photos in good lighting. However, it does not perform too well in low light conditions. Overall, Nokia 5.3 is a solid phone for its price range. I hope you like this Nokia 5.3 review video. I make technology related videos that cover hardware, software and apps. The videos are generally informational, reviews, guides and tips. New videos are uploaded every week, so you will have something new to learn. Hope to see you again in my future videos. Until then, take care and stay safe.